Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jazzy AD. How are you guys doing? So today as promised you guys I'm doing my Sephora Vib haul. Um, as many of you guys know who are my Sephora girls or guys. Um, Sephora basically holds a Vib sale. I don't even know if that's like the official name of it. But anyways they hold their sale like twice a year I think it is. Don't quote me. So basically whenever it happens you get like a really good percentage off. So I try to like utilize that time to buy a lot of new products um with new products you just never know if you really like them or not so it kind of kind of hurts your heart a little bit to spend the money on it so when i buy it during a sale it kind of makes me feel a little bit better <laughs> categories I was going to do this in for you guys. Um, I do realize that I did get a lot of drugstore new products as well. So I think I'm going to do a like summer essentials because I'm pretty sure spring is going to be over. I don't really know when is spring and summer really start like anyways I'm going to do a summer slash spring essentials video or something um, in the coming weeks. So thumbs up this video if you guys want to okay, see we're that. We're going to start with face order so we're going to go with primers first. My first product is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I got the mini version and so this primer I was really skeptical because of the fact that I have sensitive skin. I say this time and time again you guys if you don't know how a product is going to react on your skin it's always best to get the minis. Like don't fear that you're going to be missing out. The minis come with a lot of like product in them. I spent $15 on this by the way. Um, the full size is $30 but I mean guys this is primer and also I'm gonna give you guys another tip with primers you want to use like one to two pumps. You never want to squirt the whole thing out in your hand and lather your face in primer. That's not how primers work and sometimes what a lot of people don't know is that the more you use is kind of like the opposite effect that you're supposed to get for the primer. Like sometimes if you use too much it like counteracts and like does some crazy stuff and that's why a lot of people don't like certain primers I feel like because they're using it the wrong way. So with primers it's actually like less is more. So yeah my next product is the Ferrisali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. That is a really long title. Anyways, I also got the mini version of this as well. Um, this is also, like I said, it's supposed to be a primer and it's supposed to blur out like your, you know, your big pores or things like that. And I'm all for products like that because, like I said, I have a lot of like problematic areas. So this just seems like it would be really great. I see so many things from Ferrisali and I've actually never tried anything. So I've heard some good stuff about this. So okay, you guys, so moving on from primers, um, I basically just re-upped on this product. You guys see me use it all the time. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I am completely crazy about this foundation. Um, I did a whole try on for you guys. Um, there's a vlog on that and I'll link it down in the bottom bar. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Like I don't splurge on foundations because there's a lot of good drugstore foundations but this foundation it's absolutely amazing. It makes my skin look so flawless. It makes it look really natural. I have it on right now. Um, I'll also link this look down below. I'm and just to go along with that I got my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I actually ran out of my creamy concealer and I've been using the Tarte uh, Shape Tape and I'm not too crazy about the Tarte Shape Tape concealer because it's really really heavy and um, I just feel like it's like a full coverage type of look. Um, I think this concealer is supposed to be full coverage as well but I just like it because it's lighter on the skin and it worked really really well with the foundation. Um, but the next product I have is the Sephora Collection uh, Micro Smooth Baked Foundation Powder. Um, this stuff is really good. The reason why I'm trying this, this is not new. Um, the reason why I'm trying this is because one of the YouTubers that I follow is Alyssa Ashley, which a lot of you probably follow as well. She raves about this stuff and I've always wanted to try it. The powder that I usually use is like a drugstore powder. It's nothing crazy or anything like that, but I still get like a really nice finish from it. But I just really wanted to try it because like I said, like she raves about it and um, yeah, it's actually not that expensive. It's only $22, which is really not that bad. Um, it's a Sephora product, and yeah, I just wanted to try this one. Okay, my next product is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. So the color that I got today was Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey, which I was really excited about because I haven't really tried any of her new products that she started to come out with. I'm always a fan of her highlighters. They look really gorgeous. Is what it looks like. Um, I feel like they're gonna look really nice on the skin um, but there they are swatched. So this one is Mo Honey. 
um, if you guys can see that. And this one is Afternoon Snack. They're just a really cute golden like highlight, a really nice golden highlight. I was looking for a new golden highlight because I've been using ABH Omri Z highlight for forever. You guys already know, like I'm a number one fan of that highlight. Um, so I needed to find something else <laughs> and branch out a little bit. So I decided to try these uh, Kilowatt Freestyle highlighters. Okay, you guys, so the next product that I got was actually on accident. I wasn't supposed to get this product. I usually get the Jack Black lip balms. Um, they're really, really great. They're like $8 for them. Um, they're really like full of hydration. I love those lip balms. I don't use anything other than that until now. The lady in the store insisted on I tried the sleeping mask like lip balm and I was like I don't want like a sleep mask lip balm. I wanted like an actual lip balm to take with me on the go and then she was like no try this. So then I tried it and it was like absolutely amazing. Um, this is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Um, they they have a sleep mask but it also comes in balm form so I guess that's what like she was trying to tell me. Um, these things are $15, you guys. I would never, ever spend $15 on a lip product, but this, this is amazing. I really like that they come in different, um, like, flavors, I guess. Um, I got the grapefruit one, but the one I tried in the store was berry, and it was just as good, too. But this packaging is just so cute. Like, definitely worth the money. The applicator is, like, the normal like lip applicators which is really cute because you can take it on the go and they're just so much hydration in this stuff like show you guys the high shine and the hydration that you get from this is amazing it smells so good and it feels really great and it lasts a really long time that's why i didn't mind spending the 15 dollars okay you guys so in the next product i actually have used this before so this was like another like you know restocking product for me it's the pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm i don't know why these titles are just so long like these products is just outrageous i got the mini version um this time the last time you guys see me in the haul i actually got the full size version but like i said i learned my lesson because um, these things don't have like a really long shelf life. Like, this is like 12 months and the big one I barely used like any of it and it was already past the 12 months so I was just like alright I'm just gonna like get rid of it. It just has this really nice green color as you guys can see and it's so smooth like you just you don't need a lot like a little goes a long way with this stuff and it melts away everything like all of your makeup just cleanses it away and your skin comes out like really really soft is really awesome I really love using this product Actually, I have two products that are left but I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this product as well because this is another refill for me um this is the way wave spray uh this wave spray is actually really really awesome I don't use a lot of high-end hair products because it's just like it's my hair like I don't really need like a $15 or whatever this or that but this is definitely worth the money I tried this in like the mini version when I had the mini kit and it was just amazing I absolutely fell in love with it I this is like my third or fourth bottle now that I've like had a repurchase because I use it so often okay you guys last product I'm so happy because I really didn't want this video to be super long um, but I got the Urban Decay Born to Run palette I held this in my hand the whole time while I was in the store because I was like do I really want to spend the money on this I really didn't want to spend the money on it but you know what I did and I absolutely love it and I'm actually really happy that I got it um, I was looking for a palette that kind of had majority of the colors that I like to use but also something that I can take on vacation but it was like still like compact friendly so like it's actually really really thin like if you guys can see that um, and this is the best part I can't wait to show you guys this look how pretty this packaging is that's not the best part but it's really pretty packaging um, this is the best part this has like a giant size mirror in it, it was $45 or $49 something like that um, but it was absolutely worth it this packaging is to die for this is definitely something I'm going to take on vacation with me because it has just such a plethora of colors I just can't wait to use it I'm gonna do a whole tutorial for you guys using it so just stay tuned for that you know comment down below what kind of colors you guys want me to use or something so basically that's all I have for you guys today um, I spent a lot of money um, but I also bought a lot of good products I can't wait to do a tutorial and show you guys how I use all the products a lot of first impressions are gonna be coming up so um, just stay tuned go ahead and like comment and subscribe you guys 
please subscribe you guys don't watch the video and not subscribe just subscribe because you guys already know you're gonna be coming back or whatnot but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys really like this sephora fib sale haul that i got going here definitely hit up the sale you guys it's really great i think it's all the way until like may 6th so you guys have time but don't forget to do that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video